beautiful people we are back on the road uh, we left our amazing camp uh, on the beach uh, we, we slept uh, super good uh, and now we are going south uh, on the Pan American Highway please Sarah good morning beautiful people I would like to show you the environment I really like these rock formations that we have on both sides and the the ocean is really angry we have this big huge waves perfect spot for surfers I think <laughs> and I really like the colors you have this really white sand and the ocean is gray bluish it's really nice we found south here a spot where you can take hot showers so imagine for what for free so we are going that direction probably we will skip Serena, La Serena we were trying to skip all the big towns because all the big towns are the most dangerous one we arrive at uh, this uh, area de descanso it's usually for the truck drivers uh, yes it's made for them uh, but then uh, everybody uh, we saw other cars uh, just stopping by you have hot showers uh, and you can uh, uh, truck driver just arrive uh. it's separated women on the side men on the other side the water is hot and it's for free so we stop here we will take our shower and then we will continue our trip south ladies first ladies first <laughs> Ciao. You did it. Okay, I will show you. This is the toilet. This is the shower. You can close yourself so you have your privacy. What is happening with the light? You need the shower. Perfect. One, two, three. See you later, guys. Take a shower. It was amazing. Hot, hot, hot shower. I was alone. You have the door, you have your own privacy. Really, really nice. Now it's my turn. I just, I just need to wait because there is just one shower. Yeah. Uh, so there is a guy already taking a shower in the male section. It's so rare to find a spot like this. Like, was probably in the United States, but was not for free. This is the first time we find a spot, a truck stop with free showers on the road. Yeah, because at the gas station uh, you can pay to have showers and all that kind of stuff. Uh, but here it's different. Uh, it's, uh, it's not a gas station, no. uh, it's free and uh, wow, it's amazing. And it's working because sometimes the gas station where you pay, and it's like $2, $2.50 for one shower. They said it's hot shower, it's hot water, but 50% is not working. In these places is actually more men taking showers than, than women. I was lucky, I was lucky today. Bye bye. Bye. Enjoy. Thank you. Wow. All nice and clean. Yeah, sometimes. Happens. Beautiful clothes. Yeah. I feel good. Na, 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 na. The camper. Let's go back on the road uh, after a nice hot shower. Wow, guys, it's super, super hot. I can't wait to get on the coast again uh, to have the the wind of the ocean that is a little bit cooler because here now we are inside the desert in the middle of the desert and it's super super hot uh, Sara is trying to add it yeah guys I'm trying to add it but following the Pan American Highway Highway number five you keep moving from the coast where you have the breeze of the ocean to the really mainland where you are in the middle of the Atacama Desert that is really hot Luckily, you pay it's toll the road, but you have some facilities. Sometimes you have a rest area, you have shower for free, you have some gas stations. So it's not so bad, but it's really hot. So we can wait to be now. Our next um, stop will be just a few kilometers north 
see this is the view it's all desert uh, really really dry really hot uh. we have some Italian people waiting for us in, uh, in Santiago other travelers van lifers Italian van lifers in, uh, in, uh, in Santiago we can wait to get there so we can meet up with Italian travelers it will be the first time for yes. us so very excited we are back to the course, guys. We are finally seeing some green uh, trees, uh, some grass. Uh, it seems uh, Peru, it seems Cusco and Pisac uh, that we only travel through desert, uh, through rocks uh, and sand. Uh, and uh, I'm, I'm feeling better now to see all this green uh, because, uh, wow, it's been uh, quite a few weeks uh, since then. Okay, guys, we are in Santiago, close to Santiago, right? And, uh, yeah, 30 kilometers away. And hi! We finally hi. met. Hi. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> close to there, Didiana and Marco and another Marco. <laughs> and we are with Italian people, <laughs> finally! <laughs> Guys, we are all Italian here, this is amazing. And they cook pizza for us. Of course, like stereotypes are not for nothing. I mean, there's a reason. Yeah. So after a long drive today, we will eat pizza. We can wait. The smell is so good. A real kitchen, guys, a real... Yes. Beautiful. Follow Indiana and the smell of the pizza, of course. This is mushroom, olives, Oregon. Wow. Cheese, tomato sauce, quite simple but mm. yummy. <laughs> yummy. Yeah. We we'll just enjoy the dinner here and see you later. <laughs> Good morning, beautiful people! We are in Santiago. We arrived last night here with uh, Lucky Liu. The beast! <laughs> we are in Marco's property here in the northern part of Santiago. Marco is an Italian guy who went here in Chile about seven years ago. He married a Chilean woman. He has his company here. Diana and Marco of Close to Eternity, they are bloggers, they have a YouTube channel as well. They invited us here and today is Marco's birthday. <laughs> they had some problems with their van and they are here since one month and they say okay guys you should come here marco has this huge property with this huge garden <laughs> we are here while we are just fixing our van we are waiting for our parts to arrive and you should come here we should celebrate uh marco's birthday all together so, and uh, we are doing a barbecue so this is uh, marco guys. number one <laughs> What's up? With Diana of uh, Diana. Close to Eternity, Marco number two, the owner, <laughs> and uh, Vittorio. Vittorio, ciao! Ciao! Okay. Todo bien? Here, my new friend Diana. Hey, hey. hey guys! <laughs> she prepared a lot of food this morning. Like, yeah, we started cooking quite early, like at 11. Yes, 11. Yes. Yes. And now it's one. one. Almost one, yeah, almost one. <laughs> right here. Diana and Marco are here in Santiago because they broke their van in uh, Bolivia, right, guys? Yeah, we we broke down in uh, like close to Rurinabac, which is basically in the Amazon jungle. So what happened yeah, is we had to take a truck for uh, 11 hours to go back to La Paz, and there we got stuck in the middle of the civil war, clearly. <laughs> Because when Perfect. bad things happen, they happen all the, 
in the same time, moment yeah. all together. Yeah, so basically we had to stay one month there, just Dario. waiting for the roadblocks to get cleared out. And then we started to repair what we could, because obviously even the importations were quite difficult at the time. So we fixed what we could and then we drove all the way to Iquique, which is like 700 kilometers that we drove at 30 kilometers per hour. Which van do you have? We have a Ford Econo line 350. The year is 2004. Okay. And basically from there we took another truck that the luckily could tow us until Santiago where we have this yeah. friend of us, Marco, and he's helping us so much to Your fix angel the van. on the road. Yes. Yeah, we all have our angel on the road usually. This breakdown it's like me for three months now that we are trying to fix it and tomorrow we're gonna have the last test drive and fingers crossed everything will be fixed. How's the name of your channel Diana? Uh, well it's close to eternity uh, on YouTube is actually in Italian language so I don't know if sorry guys but you can follow the yeah. vlog and but the, you can yeah. follow Facebook and Instagram are both in English and the name is always the same close to eternity they're really helpful for all the travelers that uh, want to travel yes, not just America's continent like not just yeah. the Pan American highway but other continents oh right? yes of course in our blog which is on WordPress you can find all Asia Australia New Zealand, all the countries of Europe. Uh, there is like 460 pages of content. <laughs> Diana is a mixologist. Yes. So just exactly. explain to all our audience what does it mean. <laughs> okay. So you all know you're all confident about bartending, right? So there are actually different kind of bartenders. There is not just one kind. One can be mixologist like me, which is a little bit like the the one that is more involved with the chemistry, the flavors, the one that is like a sommelier of the spirits. So very knowledgeable, very precise. And then you have people like Marco, my boyfriend, he is a flair bartender. For the artist, yeah. you're more the scientist. Yeah. We have Pisco Pisco, here. yes. Pisco can be from Peru or from Chile. What we have here now is a Pisco from a Pisquera mm -hmm. that is called Los Nichos. Los Nichos is the most ancient uh, pisqueria, so pisco distillery, in all of Chile. What we have here is the 35 degrees, so 70 proof, that we are going to teach you how to drink properly. First thing you have to do, you have to smell it and check the colors, put the glass against something with light and check the quality of it. In this cage is not an aged spirit, so it should be completely transparent. Second thing, the smell. So you swirl the glass a little bit like this one and then as soon as you stop swirling you just put it and you put all the nose in it. The best part yes. of course, <laughs> we shall try it, no? So to taste it, after you, you smelled it, you take small sips. You don't have to swallow all in once because there's no point. We want to know what it is like. So in order to understand all the spectrum, you should put a little sip in your mouth and just leave a little bit of space to breathe in some air. So it needs air, it needs ventilation, even inside your mouth, which means to do really show me, awful, show us, show us. awful noises. I'm sorry <laughs> if some of you is very sensitive about people making noise while eating or drinking, don't watch. <laughs> okay, skip that part, guys. Okay, okay. cheers, cheers. to you. <laughs> So from the side of the mouth, you basically have to let some air in and you make all the, all the spirits swirl around your tongue. It has to touch every single part of your mouth inside, the palate, the tongue, everything reaches a different flavor. Swirl around, okay? Air in from the side. <laughs> it's complicated, I know. Mm -hmm. Do you taste more the olives, everything that was used to produce it? Of 
course. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. I cannot say like <laughs> anything else. No, but it's really yeah. The consistency yeah. that leaves like a small silky taste on your tongue. Yeah. It's, it actually is the same feeling of olives. Thank you. Thank you, Diana. It's really it's a different way to taste the alcohol. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> My pleasure. <laughs> oh, Luca is tasting as well. This is uh, an event. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, ready. Time to eat. Look at this table. Bon appetit. Enjoy the meal. Wow. Beautiful. Buen provecho. Gracias. Gracias. <laughs> we have here a Vincenzo. Vincenzo is a special sweet wine. It's this one that we usually eat together with cantucci. It's a kind of cookies. With, like. with region uh, are they from uh, of Italy? The north? Uh, no. no. <laughs> Prato, they are from... Prato. Tuscany? Prato. Tuscany. Yeah. Toscana, Toscana Cantina guys. Di Prato. So. And Tucci and Vinsanto. Okay, how do you do? See. You have to dip it inside. Okay, see. like this. I see. Okay, yeah. easy peasy. In Italian and you then? say, cuccia il biscotto. <laughs> really good. <laughs> <laughs> we have to dip the cookies inside the wine. Delicious. Beautiful people, we eat so much. We're super full. Today was uh, fun, it was uh, really nice. An amazing day. Thank you to Marco and Claudia and to Marco and Diana. We will catch you the next video in Santiago. We will dedicate our time in Santiago for preparing Lucky Liu for Patagonia and hopefully buying new gears. So guys, uh, we hope you enjoyed the video. Give us a thumbs up if it's so. Please consider to subscribe to our channel if you haven't done already. As soon as we hit 30,000 subscribers, we will do our first live on YouTube. We love you. We super appreciate you. See you on the next one, guys. Ciao. Ciao. La vita bella. Let it carry you, carry you.